Hello guys, how are you? I hope everybody's good. I hope this beginning of the year is great for everybody. And today we are organizing the boat because tomorrow we are hauling out. We are gonna go to the yard to do some bottom job. And while we prepare the boat, I think we could talk about the prices of living and cruising in fresh Polynesia. It's something we promised we would do and today is the day. Well, everybody says French Polynesia is expensive and they are right, unfortunately. It's quite expensive here, way more than US, the Caribbean and way, way more expensive than Brazil. But that's totally doable. There are a lot of people cruising here, living on a budget just like we are. Sometimes you just have to change a little bit your habits, just looking for fresh markets, for fruits and vegetables, usually cheaper, don't eat out as much as we would like. And there's lots and lots of free, nice, amazing things to do here. And I think that's the best part. Let's check what is Diego doing. And let's get straight to the point. What are you up to? I'm going to hoist the dinghy now, just to, to wash it. It's full of sand and like uh, it's oily. So I wash it and we have to put on deck for the yard. Done with the dinghy? Yeah, I'll just let it dry a bit and then we can put on deck. Perfect. So I'm planning to do a video about the costs of cruising in French Polynesia. Uh, Could you tell us a little bit about the operational of the boat, like the operation of the boat? Yeah, I can tell you and it's it's not pretty. But that's actually for this part is not too bad because for example the diesel, we have duty-free diesel here. That's uh, it's a great news. So instead of uh, one dollar and fifty cents per liter. It comes down to nearly 80 cents, 84, 85, depends on the station. So that's good, it's average price. It's the uh, same price as some other places in the planet. Uh, gasoline for the dinghy, that's a $1.45, $1.45 cents per liter. That's uh, expensive. And uh, propane, that's a bad one. I filled uh, our one of the tanks yesterday and uh, it's uh, 20 pounds, something like 10 kilos. It was $45. Yeah, that was a painful one, but at least it, it lasts uh, between two of us, last like three, four months, so we can we can manage that. Uh, here we are in the marina and uh, t taking the, this uh, opportunity to do this stuff, like washing the dinghy and uh, some other services that it can be done easily. And we also take advantage of the low season. So the, the difference between low season and high season prices here in the marina is ridiculous. It's just like 60% difference. So now on low, se low season, this marina here, it's uh, 100 bucks a week. And that's affordable. And uh, we, can, we can come here every, like uh, every two months, we come for a week and we do a lot of stuff. And uh, water, it's also cheap. Water, it's not a problem here in Tahiti. They have lots, lots of rain and water. So for a thousand liters or 300 gallons, it's two dollars and fifty cents. So good. Electricity, it's expensive. I can't precise in kilowatts or so, but it's expensive. If uh, if you keep like uh, everything, all your things, and the battery charger turned on, you can easily spend like uh, fifteen dollars a week or so. I think the key is adapt. Huh? We always say that, and those items I just mentioned, they are not the worst part. I have to wait to see to actually buy parts and products, that's when it gets ugly. Na, na, na. Moving clothes to the V-Birth because they're gonna need the after cabin, they're gonna do some work there. So we are moving to the V-Birth, taking on all our clothes and things. And talking about clothes, something that I found really, really expensive when we arrived here, I was quite shocked, is laundry. 
the cheapest we could found was like eight dollars for one machine to wash only wash one machine and usually we've we've been to many places and it's from eight to ten dollars one machine just to wash so it's very expensive in the BVI's we would pay 250 in Panama in many places like never this much but when we arrived here we had lots of clothes and sheets from the crossing and then we spent quite a lot of money so that's why now we always go to our friend's house or try to wash by hand and just take a little bit to the laundry other thing that's very important nowadays is internet so we signed a data plan that it's 10 gigabytes for 69 dollars the prepaid uh, data is really expensive it's for 10 bucks you get 500 megabytes this is ridiculous and for a LAN house for example it's five dollars for one hour so internet is a struggle here even wi-fi is not very easy to find in the cafes in town there are just like two cafes where you can use it other costs that i think it's interesting to mention is like a bus bus ticket it's 250 for one one way trip taxes are very expensive here they start from 20 25 dollars for a short trip like 10 minutes so very expensive there's no uber here other thing just as everything else here that's not cheap are the flights we've been researching flights to brazil like round trip the cheapest we could find was a thousand dollars and uh, there are a lot of flights from la also in the us and the cheapest they start from 450 dollars round trip one thing only one thing that was really cheap here was immigration we actually didn't have to pay anything it was free even like for brazilian europeans you don't have to pay anything to enter the country by boat if you plan to stay longer then you have to apply for a long-term visa which i don't know how much would cost diego applied for a long-term visa being married to an european so it was 90 bucks for one year i don't know how is it for other nationalities but i don't think it should be it would be much more than that so if you're planning to come to french polynesia just come soon because they might change it at some point yeah any ideas for lunch you told you to do lentils are i like this idea are you good with that yes yes very good very happy okay so Lentils. Because yesterday you cook lunch and dinner, so today I have to cook lunch. At least. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about food. Food here it's more expensive just like everything but it's affordable it's not that much you just have to keep away from restaurants all the time because this is the hardest part restaurants are quite expensive they go from 25 30 for a regular meal just a simple dish so we haven't been eating out a lot we eat most of the time at the boat and we've been cooking a lot of nice things as I told you before the best choice is to buy like fresh vegetables and fruit on local markets on the streets there are lots of people selling on the street so we usually buy from them and get good deals there's also like big supermarkets here with lots of french food very nice food cheese meat here actually i was surprised they are quite fresh they are good and the prices are not that bad better than the caribbean actually One thing that it's way, way, way more expensive than everywhere we've been, it's alcohol. Like beers, the cheap, the local beer that's good actually, it's very nice, Hinano. It on the supermarket, it costs two dollar forty cents. This is like the regular price. Sometimes it's on sale and it's two dollars one can. So this is disappointing. It's it, on, on, well on outside on the street on the bar or something like that. We will pay way more, like six dollars, seven dollars for a draft beer or for a beer. It's it's expensive. And liquors and wine. Pff, the cheapest wine we found, twenty dollars, seventeen dollars, and 
not good wine not that they were very like demanding but not not good at all we thought france would be cheap like wine very cheap but no french polynesia is different they have many restrictions with alcohol and maybe that's why it it's so expensive and also the main french speciality baguettes you yeah, have the bread here the baguettes are very cheap it's like 50 cents to 60 cents for one but every bread that's not a baguette it's very expensive it's like 260 three dollars three something for a small bread so we just stick with the baguettes That's it, crew. I hope we, we could answer the, the prices for the most basic aspects of life here in Polynesia. And overall, we can see it's not cheap, but uh, still totally worthy. I think if you plan to come here, just prepare yourself. Try to anticipate all your maintenance, stock in many, many things. And just uh, deal with it, adapt and it's part of uh, it's this part of the world it's far away from everything it has to be this way and thanks so much for our patrons who, who help us to cope with that huh? yes just one good tip that i remember i just remind now if you pass through panama before coming here just stock your boat with as much food as you can because there the prices are really good yeah. and we i think we had food for almost a year since we arrived here from panama and then we start shopping like more more like a big shopping now so it was really good to have a lot of things absolutely at the boats for a way better price and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you had an idea better of the price if you miss anything and you're curious about the price please drop in the comments a question we'll be glad to answer yes thanks so much for watching if you are new here please remember to subscribe to our channel give a thumbs up to this video and consider to become a patron or an apoyador you help this video come every monday and get rewards thank you very much have a nice week see you next week bye bye